Talofa. Talofa. I'm Alicia. Joe. We are Jamily TV. If this is your first time here, please consider hitting that subscribe button over down that way. And if you've been here before, thank you so much for coming back to watch some more. We are excited to share with you our first official resort review. At the Orator Hotel. The Orator Hotel offered us free accommodation so that you guys can know all the great benefits of coming to the Orator Hotel. They're also giving exclusive discounts to members of the Jamily. Like you guys. Yeah, but stay tuned till the end to find out what discounts are available for you. When you pull off the main road into the Orator Hotel, you pass by their little tiny sign. Their little tiny sign is an unassuming sign. It just doesn't quite match with how nice the hotel is. But as you drive in, you drive by these massive trees and then it opens up into this big parking lot where you can enjoy the lush property. From the moment we arrived at Orator, we were made to feel like a million bucks. They do this greeting for everyone and like Alicia said, it really makes you feel really, really special. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Is it yummy, Noli? Say Tai Lava. Hey, girl. Hey, hey. Hey. That was awesome. What a nice welcome. I'm going to teach the girls to do that every time we arrive home now. <laughs> the property is amazing. That's probably my favorite part about it. Just everywhere you look, it's lush, it's beautiful, so well maintained. Yeah, walking to our room was you're walking through a manicured lush jungle. There's no better way to say it than that. Beautifully manicured. All the trees are trimmed back. It's just like a massive garden. First thing I noticed when we walked into our villa was these amazing hibiscus laying on the beds. Like as big as our heads. Yeah, they even put one in Noli's porticot that they provided <laughs> for us. So cute. Pack and play for you guys in the States. Okay, my water. <laughs> okay. There you go. It's pretty flower. You put it in your hair? Okay. Okay. Oh, look at how beautiful. Let me see. Let me see. Look at how beautiful you are. So pretty. Go show mama. The two beds were huge beds. They said that they were double beds, but we're pretty sure they were at least queens and I think they might have been kings. We did see another standard room though where the beds were smaller than ours. So mm. I'm not sure if they're all the same, but our beds were massive and so comfortable. Like best sleep we've had in a long time. <laughs> yeah, they paid attention to the little small touches like the flowers. They folded some towels in some cool different ways. The bathroom is completely separate from the living room with a privacy wall between the two. And and it's a huge massive shower <laughs> just so nice the shower is about 10 feet tall or something like that and it's walled with stones the whole way around so really gorgeous shower as you can see the room comes equipped with a mini fridge and a little card table a couple chairs flat screen tv the flat screen tv comes with samoa broadcasting which is not that high quality but unless you are kids who haven't had a tv since we left texas then you're not going to want to spend time watching tv anyways but our kids were like <gasps> TV. Mesmerized. <laughs> I don't care that it's all static. <laughs> <laughs> the room also had a rollaway bed in it. We had the three older girls share a bed, but in case they were fighting too much, we could have used the rollaway bed as well. They have two types of rooms available here, the standard villa and the poolside villa. We stayed in just the standard villa and it was perfect for our needs. We didn't stay in a poolside villa because they don't allow children under 12 to stay in them for safety reasons. But I just smiling. Oh, I, I thought you were laughing again. <laughs> They don't allow children under 12 to stay there for safety reasons. Plus, you can only fit three adults in that room anyway. So here's what that room looks like real quick, just so that you guys can see so that you know what to expect when you guys come and visit. Check out the flooring in here, huh? Isn't this gorgeous? 
just with all the fine mats down here, in Samoa, fine mats are called funnel. Which has your closet for you, plus your sink and your vanity. So you have your commode, and then on this side, you have the shower. So as soon as we got everything unpacked, the first thing the kids wanted to do was jump into the pool. All right, so before we grab some Ready? dinner, we're gonna Ready? run to the pool real quick. You wanna go to the pool, Noli? Yeah! Yeah, let's Daddy, go to the pool, Noli! Go! Come on, Noli, Noli, Go, Noli, I'm getting on the water and you will see me. Today's channel is swimming at the pool and tell you what the hotel is like. So stay at a hotel and stay near to three nights. Just kidding. Peace. Three jump. Everyone's gone, but this one still wants to swim. Keep jumping, Nolly. This one won't stop jumping. <laughs> oh, you crazy little lady. The pool is beautiful. It's tiered. It's three different levels. The top level is the deepest. It's like 2.2 meters or something like that, which is over seven feet. And it has stairs to enter the pool. The middle pool is the pool we all jumped in at first. We didn't notice that it didn't have any stairs. So like my weak self had to pull my whole body there's up no, out of the pool. There, there's no <laughs> stairs. There's no ladder either. There's, I mean, it's just, you're just doing a, you know, a, what do you call it? A muscle up? Is that what those CrossFitters call it? You well, just I did a don't really have muscles up so <laughs> it was a little slow and <laughs> and then they also have a kiddie pool down there as well that's 600 millimeters millimeters <laughs> centimeters I don't know what it is 600 something <laughs> point six point meters six. <laughs> is point six meters 600 centimeters or is it 600 millimeters we don't know because we don't understand millimeters <laughs> and centimeters <laughs> but what we do know is that it equals one foot. <laughs> so perfect for the little babies. And that one does have stairs too, so you can get in and out of that with ease. The whole thing is basically a high stair because it's so shallow. But the girls love moving from pool to pool and playing in all of them. Oh, also really cool about the pool side is that you can order food as long as it's within the hours of the restaurant. Really nice. The girls enjoyed some fries while we were out at the pool. You may notice some dark patches in the pool. They are waiting for their pool to be resurfaced. Apparently in Samoa, there's only like two people on the whole island that know how to do this. So if you have a business doing this, I'm you on. wanna come to Samoa. So yeah, they're waiting patiently to have their pool resurfaced and to fix some loose tiles and things around it. But it didn't hinder our experience at all. No. So what you see from the drone shots and stuff, it's not any kind of algae or anything like that. The pool is serviced every week. It's just that the resurfacing guy is just not available right now. So as far as like meals are concerned, we had breakfast, lunch, and dinner here as well. The breakfast is included in your stay and it's a breakfast buffet. So that was really, really nice. Yeah. So this is the normal breakfast that they have every morning. Drink station here with some orange juice and water, coffee, tea, milk, normal stuff. Some vegetables. 
Pringles and I don't know what this fish? is. Fish? I think it's fish. Ooh. Spaghetti and hash. Then over here we have some small little pancakes. And here we have donuts and very small muffins. Over here we have a bunch of different types of cereal and some milk. I'm getting some wheat big cereal for Nolly with our dairy for you. Essie, some fala and moly. <laughs> So as the girls were getting their stuff, the chef actually came out and he said, oh, would you like me to make you some gluten-free hash browns or sausage or eggs? Because what they have out, there isn't much that's gluten-free. Um, and I was like, oh, I'm okay with fruit. He's like, no, no, it's okay. I'll make you some. So really thoughtful that they, they asked if we had any allergies or diet restrictions and uh, they're being really accommodating. So super nice. Samoans love to eat spaghetti for breakfast, I guess. I don't know. I remember eating it when I was a kid in Samoa, but then when we moved to the States, we kind of stopped that. It seems like lots of Samoans like to eat spaghetti or savory things for breakfast as opposed to sweet things that maybe Americans and people from other countries like. And then now that we've moved back to Samoa, it's like, boom, that's right. We used to eat spaghetti for breakfast all the time, so kind of cool. The chef said he would make me some gluten-free hash browns, and then they just come out with this full plate of food for me. It's so nice. So we actually got a message on YouTube on one of the videos, I'm not even sure which one it was, but this lady messaged that she and her husband are coming over to Samoa from Pango just to try out the food places that, that Jamily TV has gone to. So pretty cool. And then, guess who we run into while we're here at Orator filming the resort review? But that family. We met the husband and his name is Sabi and so we're guessing that his wife and maybe the kids are going to come over and, and uh, we'll get to meet them too, so pretty awesome. Also, for the meals, I recorded a restaurant review, which you can see right here. And they have two restaurants here. One is called the Ali'i restaurant, which is the normal one that they have every day of the week. The second restaurant is called the Taupo restaurant. That's an air conditioned separate restaurant that they have. And it's only used for their Sunday tonai, which we also got to experience. Many people come to Samoa and they're like, I can't get traditional Samoan food at restaurants. Which is true because a lot of restaurants here, they'll use like elements and hints of food. So like they'll have palusami incorporated into a dish but not a standalone well here at the sunday tonai they do have that as a standard standalone so orator hotel is really well known for their sunday tonai meal and that tonai meal was really really delicious the girls all ate multiple plates of food <laughs> it's a buffet style and it's really nice to be able to come get some traditional samoan cuisine and to have a place to go on sunday if you're traveling we don't normally eat out at restaurants or shop or anything like that on sundays and most places actually in samoa are closed on sundays but if you're on vacation or even if you're local and you want to enjoy a nice gongai style meal orator is a great option for you and all the stuff comes out of their own umu they prepare it themselves their own umu every sunday morning it's pretty cool they don't run to the market or anything to grab someone else's umu <laughs> beautiful big salad you know i love that we have rice potato salad rolls this is a soup of the day. We're not sure what it is yet. Beef soup, ulu, palo, palusami, or luau, depending on what you like to call it. I like to call it delicious. Last night for dinner, I wanted to order some oka, but they didn't have any. And today I found out the reason. It's because of this massive bowl of oka that they have <laughs> for the tonai today. I'm so glad they saved it for everyone else to enjoy as well. <laughs> Today we also have my little buddy here who tastes very delicious and I'm very excited to enjoy his contributions to today's tonai. Thank you very much. And then also, this is the offals of the pig. People really enjoy this here in Samoa, so this is kind of like a delicacy for people in Samoa. Did you say offal? O-F-F-A-L-S, <laughs> not A-W-F-U-L. I'm not so sure. <laughs> right here we have local rock oysters straight from Samoa, which is here, which is local. <laughs> Roasted sesame chicken, some yummy moa. Ooh, here we have some bovi masima, salted beef. This beef and vegetable looks like a yummy stir fry. Chicken curry, mmm, you can smell the curry. And here we have some pisupo chop suey, or Fia always calls it sapasui. Is that right? <laughs> 
Ooh, I'm going to be eating a lot of these yummy roasted veggies. So we had a nice little sneak preview of everything and it looks so yummy. But we should probably go get the girls so they can eat too. <laughs> nah, we don't need to get them. Okay, fine. Let's go get them. overwhelming success today over here at the Sunday Tonai at the Orator Hotel. Look at how many people are enjoying the dinner today. It's a really nice dinner and so we wish that you guys could enjoy it as well. Come soon. And that meal runs from I think 11 until 2. It's 65 tala for adults and so again the tala is 0.4 US dollars. 65 tala is equal to 26 US dollars. So 65 tala for an adult or 30 tala for ages 6 to 12 and then it's 25 tala for ages 4 to 6 and then three years and younger is completely free. They also take credit card at both the hotel and the restaurant, which is great, especially for tourists. I believe they only take Visa and MasterCard. And as with most places in Samoa, there is a 4% charge for using a credit card. All the meals that we had were really good. For those of you that have never been to Samoa, you have to understand that Samoa just is like this right now. All the hotel operators, all the restaurant operators are working on training their staff to be more consistent. And we ran into that also. On the first night, we ordered a steak and it came out with the best peppercorn sauce that we've ever had. Like not just ever had in Samoa, like ever had. It came with caramelized onions in it and it was just glorious. Even Zara, who hates onions, loved that sauce that night. And then the next night, we ordered it again, and then instead of it coming out with the caramelized onions and the peppercorn sauce, it came out with a mushroom cream sauce, which we're fine with mushroom cream sauce. It just wasn't what we ordered. So you just have to be patient and remember that consistency is a little bit of an issue in all of Samoa, but they fixed it. We just mentioned to them that this wasn't what we ordered and what we wanted as a solution, and they fixed it right away. So to us, that's what it's all about. It's not that you have to get it right the first time. It's that you're willing to correct it and obviously Obviously they were, they did a great job. Our goal in doing these resort reviews and restaurant reviews is to let you guys know the amazing options that you have available to you. And we focus on the positive. We want people to see how amazing it can be to stay in Samoa, to live in Samoa. We're also realistic though, and we want you guys to know if we experience challenges or frustrations during our stay. We want to be honest with you guys so that you can know what to expect potentially on your stay in Samoa as well. We understand that the flight to get to Samoa for Americans, it's really expensive. We understand it's between 1500 to maybe 1850. If it's more than 1850, you're looking at the wrong place. Go somewhere else. Between 15 and 1850 round trip per adult so we, we get that that's really expensive the thing is is that the accommodations here are really inexpensive compared to accommodations in Europe or in Asia or in any other place and then food also in Europe food is way expensive compared to what food is like here food is really cheap for the American dollar so we're confident that you put those things together the accommodations and the flight and the food you put that in a package and then you compare it to any other destination it's worth it to come to Samoa I was telling you about the inconsistency in all of Samoa. And that's across sectors. That's not just in restaurants and hotels. Another thing that you're gonna deal with being in Samoa, I mean, you're in a jungle, so you're gonna deal with mosquitoes. You're gonna deal with ants. Make sure to pack your bug spray and you're gonna be fine. Another thing for you guys to be aware of, at least in the villa we stayed in, was the hot water. They had like legit instructions on how to use the hot water. And when we followed those, it worked great. Just look around. If you're having a hard time getting hot water, look for some instructions. <laughs> but after you follow them, it works great. This is a minor frustration, again, that doesn't have anything to do with the hotel, but here in Samoa, there are two cell phone providers. One is Blue Sky and one is Digicel. Blue Sky had inconsistent service here. The hotel does provide Wi-Fi, but I believe it's 15 tala an hour to use. It's an option if you need it. There are currently no laundry facilities at the Orator, so if you do have laundry needs, go find an auntie, say, hey, can you help me do my wash, please? <laughs> There are a lot of laundry facilities around and usually they're somewhere between seven to ten dollars per load to wash your clothes and then fifteen to twenty dollars to dry your clothes and they fold them all, bag them up, and you can pick them up at the designated time. Depending on your personality type, this may be a plus or a negative, but <laughs> there are a few cats around. There's like a handful of cats. No, yeah. no, it's not like a feral jungle in here, but <laughs> 
but there are a handful of cats. If you're allergic to cats, just be aware that there are cats here. They don't go into the rooms or anything like that, but this is Samoa again, so there are cats here. I think they liked us more because we have little kids who like eat a lot of snacks and drop them as they walk, so they like to hang out with Noli and Ammo. <laughs> yeah. And Ammo and Noli like to hang out with them too. One of our concerns when we came here was like, well, what are we gonna do because there's no beach? That's one of the things about the Ore Tour is that it's kind of up the mountain, which gives you a really cool breeze, constant cool breeze, which is awesome, but it's not next to the ocean. So the ocean is maybe 10 or 15 minutes away from here. And so we were thinking that, you know, not being by a beach, what are we gonna do? But the days went by really quickly between the time the girl spent in the pool and us eating breakfast, lunch, and dinner. They have a billiards table. They played some pool on that with the tiniest little billiard balls I've seen, but the girls had fun. Also, because I just love this property so much, I wanted to be outside enjoying it. So the girls and I did an evening workout um, as the sun was going down and it was pretty cool outside. There's a little area, I think it's a little outdoor wedding chapel. One of our viewers said they were married here, but there's a nice field in front of it. We enjoyed getting our workout on in the nice little grassy area. That's one of the things that they do really well here are events because they have those two restaurants. They can accommodate like I think 300 or 400 people here if you need them to for a wedding or any kind of special event like that. Discount time! Boop, boop. So you get a 10% discount on all of your food and beverages that you get from the hotel, non-alcoholic. That discount applies to the Sunday Kongai meal as well. And the food discounts are available to our viewers through October 31st, 2019. So the room that we stayed in, as we mentioned, was the standard villa. It can accommodate up to five people, and we had a baby also. For two adults, it's 350 tala. Every additional adult after that, you add 65 tala. Children after that, five and under are free, six to 12 years old, you you add 40 tala. The poolside villa for two adults starts at 500 tala, and then if you have a third adult, it's 65 tala for that third adult. And that's their normal rates. But for our viewers, they are offering you guys a 15% discount if you stay two or three nights, a 20% discount if you stay four to six nights, and a 25% discount if you stay seven or more nights. Stay seven or more nights. <laughs> These accommodation discounts are available to you guys until the end of 2019, December 31st, 2019. And to give you an idea in US dollars, our room rate for just Joe and I, normal rate without any discounts would be like 146 bucks and Australian dollars I think is like $194 for two adults, something like that. So very affordable for the beautiful accommodations and it's been super clean. I really loved climbing in between those clean sheets and they have those super soft blanket that we actually wanted to use because there's also air conditioning <laughs> and we were like oh this feels so nice evangeline's like i want to take this bed home and this blanket <laughs> <laughs> We are so grateful to Orator for having us, for hosting us. They've been so kind, so welcoming, and attentive to every detail. The desk is available 24 hours a day. Really awesome to meet Charlotte and Jerry, who own the hotel, and Mila, who's the general manager of the hotel. She's doing an excellent job, and you can tell that this property is headed in a great direction under her leadership, with Jerry and Charlotte guiding her along the way. Also, some of you guys have been asking about our sweet clothes. Thanks to Aveni for providing our matching outfits that we wore during this resort review. If you guys enjoyed this resort review, please give us a thumbs up. Leave us a comment on the resort that you would like us to review. If you own a resort, if Invite you Invite us over. <laughs> yeah. If you have an auntie that owns a resort. <laughs> <laughs> Let her know. Let your cousin know. <laughs> if this is your first time here, please consider again hitting that subscribe button over there. And the notification bell. It lets you know whenever we post something. Usually we try and post three videos a week and hopefully you guys are enjoying them. And we'll see you next time. Manuela Asso. Fa. That includes the Sunday Kongai meal. See you Say guys. Say it again because I just farted. <laughs> <laughs> Blooper. In your belly or out of your moody? In my belly. <laughs> he farts in his belly. The accom these accommodation, these accom these accommodation. <laughs> Make sure you always watch the Stimuli TV since we have so many videos. And thanks for watching Stimuli TV. <laughs> And so we're gonna go in the water and I will touch the water. See ya!